Hello everyone, before starting off, uh, I just want to mention that you should be using this method as the last solution. The drawback of this method is that you won't be able to install all the component. As an example, back burner. Make sure to check all the different methods online about uh, how to install Net Framework 3.5 before trying using this method. So for people who have a problem with installing 3ds Max uh, 2015 or any other kind of versions, uh, there is kind of uh, a trick so you can install it without need of uh, Netflix work. Of course to use this method you must have already a virtual image of your DVD, thus giving you an ability to modify its files. So I'm going to open this uh, virtual image using Ultra ISO, like so, and I'm going to look for startup.ini. This is one I need to modify. First thing I need to extract it, like so, so I can modify it. So I extract the file, go into it, and then look for .net. I'm going to look for .net 3.5. This one right there, SP1. I'm going to remove it and then save the file Let's save the file now that with that being done all you have to do is replace the setup in the initial one click yes and then save it might take a time so once you saved you need now to emulate the image and mount it into a virtual driver in this case I'm using demo tools light so I'm going to mount the image, like so, and now it's fully emulated, I'm going to go and install it, as used to be. Now keep in mind that setup.ini has been modified, okay? And now if we try to install, let me show you okay. Now I'm going to enter the serial code and then hit next. If I try to install it, it still prompts you to install the Net Framework 3.5. But the trick here is I can ignore it. Some errors might occur, but at the end of the day, you'll be always able to install it and run your application. So don't worry if it's stuck at a certain point, it will definitely look like that. So we skip through to save you some time. At the end of installation it's going to show you this error, don't panic, just click OK and ignore the installation of uh, Netform Work 5 Now I'm finally able to see the icon of program, so I'm going to run it. Now obviously I already activated the program so you might not see that at first glance. You might activate your own product. Okay. Now the program is fully functional and you are able to do what you get used to do, you can save and everything. Okay. For some reasons the end installation window was hiding, as you can see. Now as I said before, you will not be able to install all the elements or components, but you will be able at least to run the main program which is 3ds Max. That's it, I hope it will work for you as it did for me and uh, I'd like to thank you for following me till the end.